Okay, so obviously this is not a uh, trig value that we know. Uh, 0.4 is the same as 2 fifths, not a, not a value that I know, not radical 2 over 2, radical 3 over 2, or a half, 1, negative 1, 0, or undefined. So the first thing I want to do is I'm just going to do second sine of 0.4. And since this is sine and it's positive, we want that first quadrant angle. So I'm just going to write down the answer of 0.4, 1, 1, and on and on. And it's not necessarily in this case, but it's a good practice. I'm going to hit Stow key again and store it as X. I want a second quadrant angle. So how do I get a second quadrant angle? That's pi minus my reference angle. And this is pi plus my reference angle. And this is 2 pi minus my reference angle. But since uh, we're talking about sine, sine is positive in the first and second quadrants. So we want pi minus my reference angle. So that'll be pi minus my reference angle. So courtesy of the calculator. Oops, wrong button. Let's get rid of that guy. I don't think it'll go away on its own. So we do pi, pi minus x is that number there, 2.730. So, so there's our two answers for that one, uh, being both of them in the first ones in the first quadrant, second ones in the second quadrant, because sine is positive in the first and second quadrant. So there's two things I don't like about this problem. The first off, I don't like the negative, so we'll just deal with the negative later. The second thing I don't like is this is secant. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of the secant by taking the reciprocal of secant, which gives me the cosine of theta, if I reciprocate this side, I must take the reciprocal of this side, so that's negative one quarter. I don't really know when cosine equals negative one quarter. So again, I'm going to imagine that the negative is not there. So here's my uh, four quadrants here, and all students take calculus and how we get the critical values. So again, you disregard the negative and just use your calculator. So we just do second cosine of a quarter. Press enter. We store that value as x. I'm just going to write that value down because that's my reference angle. So if I want a third quadrant angle because uh, cosine is negative in the, excuse me, I want a second quadrant and a third quadrant angle because cosine is negative in the second and the third quadrant. So therefore, I've stored it as x. So I just want to do pi minus that value. So pi minus my x value, which is 1.823. Then I want the third quadrant angle. So that's just going to be pi plus my reference angle. And those are my two answers right there. So I'm just going to write those out. So there's my, um, my answers right there. So we got one more problem left to do. So here's my little handy dandy visual here. Uh, again, I'm not really checked off on cotan. I'm much better at tangent of theta. So I take the reciprocal of both sides. One half is one of my values that I know. However, I don't know it. Tangent doesn't have any values that are one half. That's only sine and cosine. So again, we're at a, a position where we're going to have to use the graphing calculator. So the first thing I'm going to do is then do second tan of 0.5. And there's one of our answers, so I'll write that down right now. And then I need um, a second angle that is positive for tangent, which is in the third quadrant. So that's the wrong button. I'm going to store this as x. And I'm going to do pi plus, because that is our third quadrant angle. So there's our angle. Uh, so that wraps that up. Okay. Great job for me.